It's pretty easy to see with you two that you are perfect for one another. When we look at you two as a couple, we know that it's a perfect fit. We know that it is a love and a relationship planned by God. May God go with you and bless you. May you see your cho children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, in rich in blessing. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the road rise and meet you. May the wind be always at your back. And today, may the spirit of love find a dwelling place in your hearts. By the power vested to me, by the state of Wisconsin and the Universal Life Church, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. having the very distinct thought that something was different about you. Through the past six years, you've been there uh, for me through the good and the less than good times, and you've loved me through it all. I promise to be there beside you and love you through anything that life may throw at us. I will love you through richer or poorer because we know we are always richer together in love, family, friends. I promise to encourage you in your dreams and aspirations to be there with you at all of your major races, to love you, support you. Life with you has been the most interesting, fun, <laughs> adventurous, and best years of my life. And I know the best is yet to come. I'm so grateful that God led us to each other, despite the fact that I committed a felony by not leaving any of my information after gently hitting your car. I love you unconditionally, and I can't wait to run away together forever. Courtney. Everyone pretty much has been saying I should have these written down. No one, no one trusted that I could just do this off the top of my head. But I know how I feel about you. When I met you, I wanted everything to be perfect. Before I knew you, I thought about what it would be like to be with you because I was so blown away by your beauty. Without having ever met you, there's a magnetism and I just wanted to be with you and close to you. So when we started our first date and our second date, I tried so hard. But the one thing that really sold me on you was that I didn't need to be perfect. It was nice to have someone to finally be myself around. We've been dating for forever and everyone keeps asking me all day and it's driving me insane. <laughs> they ask me if I'm scared or I'm worried, but at the end of the day, I get to go home with you and I get to spend the rest of my life with you and that's not scary. That's just two best friends hanging out. And I'm pretty pumped about that. <laughs> Matt took first place that day uh, finishing over an hour ahead of the next person. He received a plaque and a belt buckle that day, but I think the real prize was Courtney. Matt gives 110% to everything he does, and I'm certain that marriage will be no different. Growing up, we'd like to share our fantasies about what it would be like to have this day. I always had a hard time picturing it because I never could imagine a guy that was worth her. Uh, it's a comfort to know Courtney has someone to keep her laughing, smiling, and growing the list of inside jokes for years to come. But Matt is the definition of the best friend. That's the reason why there are so many guys up here, because Matt would give the shirt off his back to any of us, and you all know that. The point of the story is that had all those T's not got Crossed, all those eyes did not got dotted, Matt would have never ended up in Northern Illinois. Had that not happened, Matt would have never met Courtney. And we wouldn't be here today. So thank you all for coming. Have a great night. And again, thanks for being here.